back with more Buffy and this is episode 22 of season 3 and therefore the season finale um, I don't even know how to begin to express my excitement to see how they're going to wrap this all up um, it's been a great season and I can't wait to see how it's all going to end um, and the last episode was really good as well um, very interesting first part a lot of questions um, I squealed a little bit um, no tears yet though. We'll see if this finale emotionally destroys me. I don't know if it will. I don't think that's a, it's not a detriment. But I don't know if there's any potential to make me sad. Unless we like lose someone quite big, but I don't know if we will. I'm kind of nervous about that though. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. I'm really, really excited to see how they're going to wrap up this season. And, you know, is the mayor going to ascend? Are they going to be able to stop him? Um, how are they going to set up Angel to leave and start his spin-off um, it's crazy this felt so far away for so long um, when I first started the show even when like the pilot of Buffy when I reacted to that I got comments like, asking me are you going to do Angel? I was like Jesus Christ it's like three seasons away that's ages um, and now here we are and it's crazy um I mean, I've been doing Buffy nearly a year now. Um, nine months, I think. Um, so, yeah. It's taken a bit of time to get to this point. Um, but, wow. I can't believe we're actually here at the end um, of season three. Um, yeah, very, 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 very excited to see how we're going to wrap this all up. Um, is Faith dead? Is she just napping on the back of a truck? I don't know. Um, but I'm very eager to find out, and I'm just so excited, but also very nervous. I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know what to expect, but yeah. Um, let's wrap up Season 3. If Faith turns out to be like an android or robot or something now, then Buffy's going to have a bad run with this kind of thing. But sir, the ascension... Oh! Maybe he snapped. Faith's a good girl. I think that's the first time he's raised his voice. I demand an explanation. For what? Wesley. Uh. Inbreeding? Really? Funny. Any minute, I'm sure to laugh. Well, does he have to leave the country? I mean, you got fired and you still hang around like a big loser. Why can't he? Cordelia, we're trying to stop a massacre here. No. I always really liked the friendship with these two. I wish they kind of explored it more. In some ways, this is the best night of my life. <laughs> best. The best. <laughs> oh, God. Cinnamon rolls. Mm, I feel like she's going to give her blood to him. Shit. Fuck. Oh man. Oh, Jesus. Whenever these two end up in this position, it does not end well. But the head trauma, it's <gasps> well it's, it's his face. too severe. You know, it's a wonder she's alive at all with a blood loss. Fuck! She's alive, okay. We have another young girl, severe blood loss. Dr. Powell wants you to prep to assist on an anti-cubital cut down. I'll be right there. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Stop it. Yes. I did that in worse. Murderous little fiend. Did you see what you did to my faith? The face not dead, she's not murder. I could suffer some weeping if I were you. Can't that nurse just report to the police that she saw the mayor try and fucking smother a girl? 
Well, it's just good to know that when the chips are down and things look grim, you'll feed off the girl who loves you to save your own ass. Oh, fuck. Come on. Better go, Angel. We'll watch over. I don't want the sun will be up soon. Oh, no. They're not happy with him. Fuck. That's gonna be just another reason for him to leave Sunnydale. Oh, what a mess. <gasps> Cat! Who's gonna look after him? I'll do it. It's a she. And aren't these things supposed to take care of themselves? A higher power guiding us. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. Um. Is this your mind or mine? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> Pete's face. Can't use all of this. Just take what you need. Hmm. You ready? That's what she always taught her. Want it, take it. Well. What a complicated relationship. <laughs> Ready for what? Graduation, war. bitches. And war, apparently. I prefer just to graduate. But... I personally don't think it's possible to come up with a crazier plan. We attack the mayor with hummus. I stand corrected. Just <laughs> perspective. <laughs> Thank you. My point, however, is crazy or not, it's pretty much the only plan. It's not crazy about germs. Of course. That's it. True. We'll attack him with germs. Great. We'll get him cornered and then you can sneeze on him. No, <laughs> no. We'll get a container of Ebola virus and, and, um, or it doesn't even have to be real. We can just get a box that says Ebola on it and, um, chase him. Nice. Just tell me how I can help. That is Aww. so classy. <laughs> Isn't he just so classy? <laughs> Okay, this is how it's going to lay out. Transformation should Ooh, be nice transition. Exactly three, you and Dan are going to have to work together now. Can you guys handle that? I'm still key guy, right? <laughs> right. Come on, Great. Sander. Then Angel, in his non-key guy capacity, can work with me. What fun. Hey, key guy, still yeah. talking. Oh, that's good. Start figuring. That's going to work great for us. You guys are like little old ladies. <laughs> Come up to the sewers here. Felt like they were just understanding each other as well, those two. And then this. It's going to be a whole new world come nightfall. They want a weekend now. A whole new world. Let's watch the swearing. Fuck that. How many listen? I need to talk to you for a second. You mean in front of other people? <laughs> Working together in harmony. Percy. Do I look stupid? Let's be honest. You look great. You got a sec. Are they like recruiting all the secondary characters? What is that? Good luck in the end. Mm. Yes, thank you. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll <get> that's <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's that. Okay, it's clear that's enough. Oh. I guess that's it. This feels like three years of build up with like all these other people as well. All these people that this group have touched. don't even need to write a goodbye for those two. Just that silence said everything it needed to. You all proved more or less adequate. <laughs> it's a time of celebration, so sit still and be quiet.
to my leg to be fight. <clears throat> Sneaky cinnamon rolls. My god. You know what, kids? He's gonna do the entire speech. Man, <laughs> just ascend already. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. It's what happens on the way. It's the things that shape you. At the end of the journey, you're not the same. Today is about change. Graduation doesn't just mean your circumstances Amen. change. Oh fuck. Here we go. We must all me. Me in fruit and vegetables. It's a little sooner than I expected. I had this whole section of <laughs> civic pride. But I guess we'll just skip to the big finish. Oh good. Hello. Well, I said he was a snake. Praising Buffy for saving the school, now they're doing it. Oh, well, they're not anymore. It's simply unacceptable. I'm actually quite emotional that. Fuck. Oh, you bitches are dead. Oh, Wesley. You just eat Snyder? Is that it? Oh, Snyder. Shit. Oh. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> you go, Jonathan. Yes, Cordelia! Yes! You wanna get it back from me? Dick. Savage. Even when he's a giant snake demon, he still has a heart. I like the design of it. Oh, it's all the stuff they're setting up. Well, gosh. <laughs> Why did they make him speak? Oh, dear. What's the whole school? Aww. <gasps> it's the last goodbye, I swear. If he starts singing I Will Always Love You, it might be the best sequence to ever happen on TV. It's just gonna walk away. Again, it's just a silence, that's all they need. I feel like I'm like losing a friend, but he's getting his own show. I'm gonna miss him not interacting with everyone else. Well, I'll see you in Angel, my friend. What about the part where he kicked some demon ass? I <laughs> didn't hate that. Here, here. Good for you, Cinnamon Roll. We survived. Hell of a battle. At the battle. You survived high school. High school. <laughs> it's probably the hardest thing of all. Oh, she's ending the season not on her own anymore. The future is ours. <laughs> is every season just going to end with like a side Mercedes button on it? Oh. 
啊。Season three, that is season three, ladies and gents. Um, great episode and a fantastic finale. What a way to like wrap up this season. Um, I absolutely loved it. Um, action packed. There's some really funny moments. Um, I got really fucking emotional um, when they all like took off their robes and every single person graduating had a weapon and they like took part in the battle. Like yes, um, it's so cool. Like. In the prom, they recognised Buffy for everything she did, and now they all helped out. And I'm sure a few of them didn't quite make it. Um, but oh, I loved that. I loved that last season ended Buffy isolating herself and on her own, and this season ended with every fucking person in her year joining her in battle, and then her walking off at the end of the day with her friends, even though you know she lost Angel. Um, she's far from alone, so I love that. Um, and I also love that by allowing people in and having a team of her own, Buffy was able to win the day. And yet with the mayor doing that and getting close to people like Mr. Tree called Faith um, and allowing himself to kind of get attached to them, that was his downfall. So that's kind of an interesting kind of parallel. Um, but I did enjoy that even though the mayor became a giant snake thing, um, he still had that sense of humanity in him and that was what kind of killed him in the end because he still kind of was grieving for faith. Um, so that was cool. Um, so otherwise he would have just become like a generic, oh, here's a giant demon for you to battle. Um, so it was nice he still retained a sense of that humanity in him um, right to the end. And then it was like, oh gosh, or something at the end <laughs> when he got turn up. Um, kind of comical, but quite funny. Um, yeah, that was quite something um I have to even begin um so yeah I loved the whole kind of final battle sequence I thought it was shot really well I love just the sheer number of people in there the different varieties of weapons and everything all the interactions between all these people it just means so much to see all these characters that we spent three seasons getting to know even these secondary characters kind of taking a stand and fighting um and agreeing to this whole plan in the first place that Buffy came up with. That shows how far she's come, that she came up with this whole plan on her own and everyone kind of pulled it off in a brilliant way, so I loved that. Um, really, really good stuff. Um, just the whole thing, what it means to see them all kind of work together like that after, you know, the bullying and all that that they've all been subdued to for the past, like, three seasons. It was nice to see everyone come together in that moment. Um, and not only did they survive the maze attack and everything, they survived high school. I thought that was a really nice way to end the season. Um, so yeah, I liked um, seeing the really vulnerable side to the mayor after we found out what happened to Faith. Um, and I'm glad. I'm kind of glad Faith's not dead. I thought she would die. Um, if you'd asked me like a couple of episodes ago, I would have said Faith would be dead by the end of the season. But she's in a coma, so she's not dead. So I think she'll come back. Um, I don't know how or when, but I think she will. Um, and that scene when she was like in Buffy's mind, I thought it was a bit weird at first, but in the long run it kind of made sense. That, um, just the two of them kind of talking in a friendly way again. It's kind of nice to see that um, after everything. And it kind of gives me hope that if Faith does wake up, those two might be okay. I don't know, especially because the mayor's gone now. I don't know if there's anyone to lead Faith astray anymore, or she's just gonna is she gonna be pissed off that yet another kind of parental figure in her life has been killed? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I liked that connection with the mayor and Faith as always in this episode, and how that was kind of the mayor's big downfall. I thought that was quite poignant, really. Um, she'd found so much strength in Faith ever since they started working together, and then because of that relationship, it was kind of the end of him. Um, so yeah, I really like seeing like the Ascension all come together, and you know, for the like for the time, I think the snake thing looked okay. Um, it was an interesting sort of design to the face and everything, um, and it made for an exciting kind of climax to the season, a really cool kind of final battle. Um, I think that whole action sequence worked really well. Even poor Wesley just getting like <laughs> knocked over, um, and Cordelia like stabbing a vampire. You're it. Um, so yeah. Loved all that, loved seeing the mayor's ascension and his speech getting interrupted and he ate Snyder. 
kind of sad about Snyder. It's going to be weird not having him around. I take it he's just fucking gone. I mean, not only was he swallowed by a giant snake, the snake then got blown up, so he's fucking dead. Oh, what is it with Snydale High and the principals getting blown up? Although the school got blown up as well, which I think was kind of um, a nice way of wrapping up the kind of high school years of Buffy by literally blowing the fucking place up. Um, that's kind of symbolic in a, a way. I quite like that. Um, they all survived high school, but high school didn't survive them because it got blown up. Um, so yeah, that was very interesting. Um, but I like where they were going for with that. But I am part of me is going to kind of miss Snyder, even though he was a right dick. Um, so I'd be interested in seeing what they do with Sunnydale High in the future. Like, are they just going to rebuild it, or are they just not going to mention it anymore because they don't need to? I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, the whole idea of like the war I really enjoyed and the whole battle sequence I think it was really effective, just seeing everyone get involved, it made me quite emotional. Um and then um something in the mayor's speech actually I think spoke quite a lot about this finale in general, both parts, and almost the season as a whole. Not only was he speaking about the ascension, um but um in terms of, you know, his ascension. But I feel like Buffy's ascended, because she's ascended to someone beyond the council now, and she's kind of working on her own, like her own solo unit. Um, so that's very interesting. I thought that was kind of a nice little running theme for the season, like ascending to great things, and hopefully Angel will ascend to great things as well when he goes to his own show. Um, and another thing he spoke about in his speech was change, um, which I think is a big thing this season. Um, because, you know, Angel's going away, they're all leaving high school, going to college. There's been so many changes this season. You know, Giles lost his job, Wesley came in. Um, and I think one of the biggest things in anyone's life, really, I think, is leaving school and getting on with their lives. Um, it's kind of timely for me to watch this. I know I've moved on from high school, technically, from secondary school, because um, I'm graduating uni, not graduating school. I've already done that, but... I think that also helped with my connection to this episode and that story. Um, so I'm going through it at the same time as all those guys are, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I liked the whole idea of change and ascension and that running theme throughout this kind of finale. Um, yeah, it was nice seeing Cordelia have a bit more to do, and um, that was nice, I hope they can continue that. Um, I just wanted to be the Sleepies again, you know, it was ni it's nice that she's made amends with Xander and everyone. And, um, she helped out and everything. I think that was very cool. Um, and I am sort of glad with how they ended things with the relationship with her and Wesley because that was the worst kiss I've ever seen. That's quite something. Um, you know, when she kissed Xander, there was music going on in the background. That was something else. That was scarier than fucking giant snake tearing apart everything. Um, so I like how they kind of played that for laughs and Wesley. I think Wesley's just going to go off now. I don't know. Um... But he didn't die. I thought Wesley was going to die, but he didn't. I don't think we lost any major characters in this episode. We technically lost Angel, but he's not dead. Um, so, yeah. Um, Wesley, bless him. I like that he kind of just ignored the council for a bit and just helped because he thought it was the right thing to do. Shows how much he's grown to kind of accept and appreciate where Buffy and Giles kind of stood in their way of going about things. And he's letting go of the council too. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And I think he's had a really nice little arc in like this final third of the season. Um, I've enjoyed his presence a lot, he's been quite funny. Um, bit of a bless him. Um, and I, I'm, I'm glad um, the Quidditch thing seems to be over and done with, because that I never really worked out how I felt about that, so it doesn't really matter that it's, I think, ended. So yeah, um, liked his presence in this episode. Don't know if we'll see him again, don't know if he's going to return. I felt like he would if they weren't going to bring him back, I think they would have just killed him. So maybe we'll see him again. Same with Faith, really. Um, so yeah, I love the whole build-up to this battle and the cutting between Buffy saying her plan, the mayor saying his, all of that. I think it worked really well, this whole idea of the war and ascension and everything. That was really great. Um, and then running through it, we had the story of Buffy and Angel and kind of the book being closed on them, it seems, um, as Angel moves on to Pastures New. Um... 
And I do love that there were just two moments in this episode where it was just silence between them. And it said everything you needed to. You didn't need to write any dialogue. Um, really powerful stuff. Um, and the fact that Buffy kind of forced Angel to feed on her to save his life and risk her own life in the process. Given the fact that the Ascension was coming up and she could have died, she still did it anyway. It says a lot about their relationship, I think. Um, and even though it was kind of weird in the way they positioned that whole sequence, um, obviously very intentionally, but um, yeah, I can understand everyone's reactions to that and they seem to distance themselves from Angel a bit after that, which is kind of sad, um, but it's more reason for um, Angel to leave, I suppose. Um, but I'm sure, I don't know like what crossovers will happen um, in Angel. I know Cordelia shows up at some point, because someone kind of spoiled that for me quite a while ago, um, but I don't know what, to what extent. Um, I like to think they all kind of pop up every now and again. That'd be nice. In a similar way to like, the Arrowverse does it. Um, so, yeah. We'll see what happens, but I really have grown to be truly invested in Buffy and Angel's relationship. If you remember back in season one, even at the start of season two, I wasn't interested. I thought it was really cheesy and... <laughs> Um, but then everything with Angela's happened, I got really invested in it. Um, and I could really get a sense that these two loved each other and they were battling for that love. Um, and all that pain they were going through and everything, I think was very interesting. Um, I am surprised we didn't get any proper answers about how Angel came back, um, and who brought him back and why. Maybe that is going to be something that just explored an Angel. I thought it would be something that would be answered by the end of this season, to be honest, but that's not what they've gone for. Um, but yeah, I, I am still very much interested in getting answers about that. Um, but yeah, I kind of really have enjoyed the tragedy of Buffy and Angel's love story. Um, it seemed to always kind of be leading to this, but it was really emotional seeing him walk away from her, actually. Um, after everything they've been through, it's still sad that it kind of isn't going to work out with those two. Um, but I'm excited for the future of both of them and see where their story's going to go now, they're not so much tied to each other. Um, that should be interesting, but um, it did get to a point um, quite early on in the season, maybe about halfway through even, um, I said, like, what's Angel's place here? I can see why he's getting his own show, because he, he doesn't have a place anymore. Um, in a similar way, I felt there was a time when Oz and Cordelia were kind of like that as well. Um, but they definitely fixed that of late, giving them both more of a presence, particularly Oz. I still feel like I still feel like they need to do more with Cordelia. Um, but yeah, um, it got to a point where I was like, "What's his place here? Why is he still around? You know, he's barely in any episodes." Um, then they started taking him in a more comedic kind of route, which I think really worked. And then he was integrating back into the stories in the group really, really well. Um, and I think that's continued to the end of the season. So I am kind of sad to see that he's going to leave all these characters behind. But I'm very, very excited to see what Angel's going to be about and what they're going to do with that. Um, all the new characters we'll meet in that show. That should be interesting. Um, but Angel definitely has the potential um, to be a very interesting character to follow in his own show. Um, and David Bobby Arnold has come a long way in his acting from season one onwards. Um, so I'm really, really excited to start Angel. I hope you guys are excited to see my reactions to that too. Because um, that won't be long now. Probably about a week's time I'll probably be starting Angel so that's kind of exciting um, so yeah I've loved all that very kind of sad poignant end to Buffy and Angel's love story um, but it felt like the appropriate combination of three seasons and you know I still feel like it's not the final goodbye with those two so it makes sense um, but yeah there's some really funny moments, there's some great action, some really emotional moments. Um, yeah, I'm not going to forget for a very long time that moment where everyone just stands off, takes off their robes and they have these weapons and stuff and they're ready to fight every single person there. Love that. Um, well, that was like a real punch the air moment. Um, Will and Oz seem to like doing a van or something. I'm all here for that. Um, and yeah, I think not everyone is emotionally scarred at the end of the season, which makes for a nice change, I think. Um, I'm very excited to see where they're going to go with season four, where they're going to take it. Um, 
you know, where's their new kind of base operations going to be? What's Charles going to do? Now his job just got fucking blown up. Um, who are we going to see again? I know Spike's going to have to come back into the mix at some point. Um, what's Angel going to be about? Like, I'm very excited for the future to see what's going to happen because the Buffy first has kind of just doubled in size for me now as I start two shows. Um, and if you've missed my videos talking about it, I'm watching it in the Slayer Live guide, the watch guide. Um, so if you want to check that out, um, that's going to be the order I'm watching Buffy and Angel in. Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting kind of order to watch, so I'm very excited to get started on that. Um, but I do believe I will be watching the premiere of Buffy Season 4 first, then the premiere of Angel. Um, but it's not always like Buffy, Angel, Buffy, Angel. There's a few mix-ups in there, so I'm excited to check that out and see what's going to happen. Um, yeah, that is Season 3. What an amazing end to it. I really, really adored it. Um, I love that no one I love was brutally murdered. Um, kind of sad about Snyder. Um, I'm sad about Buffy and Angel as well, but I feel like that story may not be over. Um, and I feel like Faith could come back, because she's not dead. If she wasn't going to come back, they'd have just killed her. Um, and it did seem to be sort of a closure in that storyline, with that scene with both of them in what seemed to be Buffy's mind. Um, so yeah. Lots to really enjoy about this finale and this season as a whole. I won't talk about my, all my thoughts on the season because I'll be doing my review next, um, whenever that may be. Um, I hope to record it um, maybe sometime over the weekend, if not Friday. Um, but we'll see. Who knows how long it's going to be, and that's going to be the other question, isn't it? Um, but yeah, that is season three. What an amazing finale to end a great, great season. And I can't wait for the future of Buffyverse. Um, in terms of my reactions, and I hope you're all excited too. Um, thank you for all your incredible support throughout my reactions to Season 3. Um, and I look forward to seeing what the future is going to hold. Uh, yeah, just the biggest thank you to all you guys for being amazing. All the, like, um, the likes and the comments, the subscriptions, the shares, all of it. it means the world. I love interacting with all you guys so, so much in the comments. Um, and I love that you get so excited for my Buffy videos, and I always get excited to record them because of that, so it does mean the world, and it's been a brilliant nine months so far watching Buffy with you guys, and I can't wait for that to continue, um, because we still have five seasons of Angel to go, and four seasons of Buffy, <laughs> so it's far from over, we are still barely scratching the surface, but I'm excited for the future, and yeah, that's graduation I guess, so yeah. Um, hope you've enjoyed my reactions to season 3 and I hope you're looking forward to season 4 and season 1 of Angel I'm very excited and yeah just the biggest thank you to you guys because um, I have the time of my life making these videos for you so I hope you enjoy them and yeah until my review of Buffy season 3 if you'll be watching that uh, thanks for watching <laughs>